This movie clip introduces the enhanced and simplified user interface of 3D window settings. As you can see, there's a new 3D window settings icon in the visualization toolbar. Let's click this icon or activate the view, 3D options, 3D window settings menu command to open its dialog box. You'll notice that the refreshed interface of this dialog box is more compact and more comprehensible. On top of the dialog box, we can find the 3D modeling engine. Here you can select from the list of the available 3D engines, such as OpenGL or Vectorial Engine. When choosing OpenGL, some effects, for example vectorial hatching, and the option to save contents of the 3D window as a vectorial 2D drawing, are not available. For mode, you can select the wireframe and shading model displays in 3D. Hidden line is available only with the vectorial engine. The next option is the window size in pixels. Here you can enter the horizontal and vertical sizes of the 3D window. By checking the Keep Proportions checkbox, you can ensure that proportions will be maintained. By selecting the Uniform Background Color option, you can define the background color of the 3D window. The Photo Rendering option enables the background specified in Photo Rendering settings. You can check the Contours checkbox to make the contours of model elements visible in shaded images. You can choose between the Best option for a perfect result and the Draft option for a fast result. Line Weight options mean single pixel or double pixel. Vectorial hatching is only available for the vectorial engine. When this checkbox is checked, you can use vectorial hatch patterns in the 3D model. The transparency checkbox is used to produce transparent views of elements that have the appropriate surfaces setting when generating a shaded view. By checking the Sun Shadows checkbox, you can reach ARCHICAD's shadow casting capability. With the Vectorial Engine, the following additional Sun Shadow controls are available. Check the Width Contours checkbox to show shadow contours in the 3D window. By using the pop-up, you can define where Sun Shadows need to be generated. You can select between the On All Surfaces and On a Single Level options only. If you choose the second option, enter a value to specify the absolute elevation of the horizontal plane on which the vectorial shadows will be generated. At the GDL Object Hotspots options, you can select the Enable 2D Hotspots or the Show 3D Hotspots Only radio buttons. Select the OpenGL Modeling Engine and click the Advanced Options button to open the OpenGL Options dialog. Here you can find additional details of the OpenGL engine. 